Ashley. Hi, I'm Sarah Claire. And this is What's, What's New IU. IU. The housing fair was awesome. Totally. Oh, we got matching shirts. Matching shirts. If you get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and not in the way you think. So if you're by the people. Uh, but yeah, at the housing fair, there were over 80, over 80 different, what would you call them, businesses? Businesses. Housing. Housing places that were there to talk about where you could live, including the on-campus housing. And they were all really cool, and they all have information. You can get anywhere from a one-bedroom to... A six-bedroom place, depending on what you're looking for. Apartments, condos, townhouses, actual houses. I'm noticing you ma mimicking now, my lips. Now the, all, the and the <laughs> um, they also had a bunch of free stuff, like water bottles, t-shirts. Uh, you could be entered to win prizes, gift cards. Okay, it's hard to stay up there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so if you're looking for housing for next year, you should look at all the places before you go to the housing fair and decide which one you want to do. Before you there, go to the housing fair? Yeah, before you go to the housing fair. For next, like, in advance. For, your junior, for whatever, not next year, but the year after. So when you go to the housing fair next year, you know where you want to go because, um, because a lot of them will give you discounts that you can only use within a span. So if you already know you want to go there, you go to you stop by that booth, you get $150 off your security deposit or $200 off your first month's rent, and you're already set to go because you know you want to go to you want to live there. So you'll be set and you won't miss the deadline in order to claim your prize. And also they gave out like gum, TVs and gum and stuff for those people. So. Candy, yeah, shirts. So be prepared. Bags, housing, housing. My country. <laughs> well, this weekend, Ashley was way at a ballroom dance, and she did pretty good. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to the basketball game, which was amazing, my first basketball college basketball game. And um, we're sitting away at the top, and <laughs> it was, I guess you could say, like, the football game is really good with, like, the club crowd spirit, but the basketball game has, like, a lot of spirit, and it was fun to watch, and the school loves basketball, which made it amazing. Go to basketball games. And football games. Actually, you can't anymore, but still. In the future. Go. Okay, so, since we just talked about basketball, we're going to take and talk about sports. So, first of all... You got volleyball, which is okay. versus Penn State on Friday, November 16th at 7 p.m. And then you have basketball. No, volleyball. Wait, volleyball still <laughs> versus Ohio, Saturday, November 17th, 7 p.m. You can just drive back to campus and um, come visit. Okay. And then it's basketball. basket. Ball. Which is versus North Dakota State, uh, so, so Monday, wait, November 12th, like which is this Monday. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 7 p.m. Assembly Hall. And then versus Sam Houston State, Thursday, November 15th, 7 p.m., also at Assembly Hall. So make sure you go and have yeah, fun. Just go. If you have tickets, you should go. If you don't have tickets, there are people selling it everywhere. Because with the big tent, who's your daddy? No, really, who's your daddy? <laughs> All the other schools coming up short. What? But we're back in. We're waiting for the six banner. Oh, yeah. Six <laughs> I didn't get it. All right. Yeah, basketball. All right, Jody Sanford is also coming on Tuesday, November 13th from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m at the Persimmon Room and the IMU. By the way, did you know that all the rooms are named after flowers? And trees. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's very <laughs> naturely. Um, and it's about exploring multimedia learning materials for public affairs education. Lessons from the Hubert Project. So if you're interested in education, you should definitely attend. Definitely. Well, we have uh, this Friday, November 16th, Mark Cuban, who was a Cuddy School of Business alumni, and he's going to be there at the IMU from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. speaking and taking questions at the best comp at the best competition. It's called Best. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. It's sponsored. Minus the Cuddy School of Business part, though. It is sponsored by the IU School of Informatics and Computing. The link is below if you Hello. want more information. More information. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, go, because he's a billionaire. Clubs and organizations. Orientation makeup session, Monday, November 12th six, at 6 p.m. at IMU Maple Room. Find out what your club needs to do to be registered and running on campus. Two members must be present for the duration of the orientation. So if you missed out on the one at the beginning of the year, you need to go to this one. Hey guys, guess what? Thanksgiving starts on Friday after class or Thursday after class. Thanksgiving break. You start yeah, oh, <laughs> Thanksgiving break. <laughs> Sorry. So it's Friday after class or Thursday after class if you don't have Friday classes, which means you got a whole week off from school. Oh. But make sure you do your homework if you still have homework because that'll kind of suck when you come back and you, hey, if you come back and you have a bunch of homework to finish. Because I used to Do it on your are plane ride or your bus ride. I mean, you're not going to do anything anyways. Um... So, yeah, so uh, if you're staying in Bloomington over break, you should check with one of your professors to see if maybe you could have Thanksgiving dinner with them because I know at least one of the business teachers says that for international students, so you could probably find someone to chill with. Or a friend, you know, just find someone. You know, it's a happy family time. You want a good meal. Also, if you're an international student, stay with a friend. Find somebody to have Thanksgiving with uh, and see what a common American tradition is all about. Or if you're an American student and you know an international person or just anybody who has nowhere to go for Thanksgiving, invite them over because you never know. That might result in you being able to visit wherever they're from, which includes abroad. Come on now. So, Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving. Mom's home cooked meal. Or dad's. Or pumpkin else. pie. And turkey. Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Cranberry Thanksgiving. sauce and stuffing with gizzards in it. And other food. <laughs> All right. This has been What's New I Do. BT Dubs. Say hi to Caitlin. Hey. I can't see her. There she is. Look, she's already getting ready to check this out. Oh, yeah. Totally. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, thanks, Sarah Claire. Okay. <laughs> we out.